This video is brought to you by the EA Game Changers Network. Massive thanks to EA for flying me out to Germany to record some FIFA 19 content for you guys. Let's get right into today's video. Hey guys, how is it going? It is S2G and I'm so excited to bring you guys some FIFA 19 My Player content on the channel. Of course, at the capture event that I attended in Berlin, I couldn't really record a complete My Player series and hence why you're only seeing regular career mode content on the channel. But I promise you guys, once the game is out, I will be doing a brand new My Player career mode with like a full new storyline and I'm so excited for that. So around September 28th, expect some My Player content coming to the channel until then i thought i'd show you guys some gameplay and footage of fifa 19 my player to show you guys the small changes and the tiny details that have been improved upon since the last edition which was fifa 19 also i'll be showing you guys gameplay as well so you guys will get to see how the ai play in my player career modes if they're better than last year and just overall how is fifa 19 my player career mode so First thing you would notice that the menus look a lot better. I'm not talking about the blue tint. I'm just talking about the overall menus in my player career mode. They now do look a lot better. And then one of the second features you would notice is that ultimate difficulty is finally on my player career mode as well, which in my opinion is fantastic. And this year the AI is actually really good. So your teammates, even on ultimate difficulty, will probably, you know, play you some good passes and all which I think is fabulous. So it might be worth checking out Ultimate Difficulty on my player career modes. Champions League, Europa League and the UEFA Super Cup are now completely licensed. We've got the Anthem and all, the draw as well. So that's a neat addition to player career mode. Of course, it's there in all the other game modes as well. Now time to show you guys all the customization options and see if there's anything new. So for old time's sake, we're going to be naming this guy Lucas Silva, giving him number 12 and making him a Brazilian. Why I'm doing that? Well, if you followed my FIFA 18 player career mode series, we did one with a left back named Lucas Silva and he became a pretty popular guy on the channel. So there you go, a bit of a tribute. For those of you guys wondering why am I not doing any more of those Lucas Silva career mode episodes, well, FIFA 19 is practically here for me. I've got a ton of FIFA 19 videos for you guys and I just want to keep uploading that. So that is why we're going to be ending off the FIFA 18 player career mode series. But trust me, the FIFA 19 one that we'll be doing will of course be finishing the series because we're starting it off so early and I think it's going to be a tremendous one. So I can't wait for you guys to see that once the game does come out. So for now, let's just, you know, get through this player career mode that we've done, that we've started a bit of gameplay for you guys as well. Now, I didn't really notice that many new hairstyles and all. And again, in terms of positioning as well, it's practically the same as last year. One thing that really annoys me is that you can't actually be a center mid. You can be a CDM, you can be a cam, but you can't be a center mid. That is genuinely disappointing. I really hope if someone from EA is watching this video, if you could add like being a, you know, just a center mid, to the game I, I doubt it'll be that difficult to add it'd be tremendous because right now we can just be like a cdm and a cam similar things if you want to actually be a left winger you can't you can only be a left forward or a left midfielder these slight details i think ea you've got to be addressing because it shouldn't be that difficult in my opinion so really hope ea can get that done regarding strikers you've got the same playing styles as well for like forwards midfielders defenders and goalkeepers adjusting the physical stats um doesn't really make that much of a difference it's the same as last year but of course we don't really need a change in that because that's just perfect the way it is so yeah, this is the player we've created. Of course, this is not any episode or something. This is just me showing you guys gameplay and footage that I managed to record at the Berlin Capture event. So regardless, we've done we've done our customization of our player. And as you guys can see, I've just selected Leeds United as the club because why the hell not? I want to try and get this guy or Lucas Silva a game. I've made him also a left forward because a lot of you guys in my FIFA 18 play career mode, I don't know how many of you guys have watched that. Um, Y'all complain that even though my player was a left back, I used to play like a left winger. So just for fun, just to give Lucas a bit of a tribute here, I've made him a left forward because why not? So again, this is an addition to my player career mode or player career mode, Champions League group stage draws and all that. So if you're in the Champions League with your player, it'll definitely feel really authentic, which is nice to see. That's a neat feature, but still... Not really that many new features in player career mode, it's practically the same as last year, which is a bit of a disappointment, but 
Let me just say this, the gameplay is a lot better for player career mode. When you're just controlling one player, in FIFA 19 it, it was really frustrating because the AI wouldn't really do that much. I mean, most of the games in FIFA 18 player career mode would end up in a nil-nil if you're playing in like Legendary or something. Or unless you like try to ball hog and do everything by yourself. In FIFA 19, I'll be honest, it feels a lot different. The AI actually makes good passes to you. And actually when you pass the ball to the AI, they actually finish their chances. So I feel that itself is a big feature, the gameplay. For me, FIFA's most important feature should be gameplay and they've really worked well upon that. Of course, as an EA game changer, I'm going to try my best to give feedback to EA to try and give them, you know, any ideas or suggestions to improve player career mode. But for now, I'm really pleased with the fact that they've improved the gameplay because I personally didn't enjoy FIFA 18's gameplay. So for me to see FIFA 19's gameplay be this much fun, I do really like that. So as I was showing you guys the menus, we're going to be of course playing a game as well in today's video, which I'm really excited to show you guys because I've been talking a lot about the gameplay. Another thing you'll notice that there are a few new celebrations. The Gabriel Jesus celebration is in the game, which I do really like. That's going to be one that I use a lot. And Mbappe celebration. There's also Neymar's new celebration as well, which is kind of similar to Gabriel Jesus's one. But yeah, new celebrations are always nice. So the traits, I can't see any difference. But this year, let me tell you this, the bicycle kick trait is going to be really overpowered in play career mode because of how easy it is to perform the bicycle kick. Another new thing, we can finally train stats like sprint speed and strength, which is great. It's not really that needed in player career mode because you can easily get your sprint speed and strength up. One thing I feel like EA should definitely do is try to get training for composure stat because in player career mode, there is no way to improve your composure stat above 50. For those of you guys wondering what even is the composure stat, it actually means... Um, how well your player actually keeps hold of the ball or doesn't make many mistakes when on the ball when an opponent is closing him. I'm ho I hope I've explained that properly. So it's basically how your player reacts in pressure moments and if he's composed or not. So that's what it basically means. So when your player has 50 composure, he can miss a lot of those easy chances. So I was really hoping uh, there's a way we can, you know, upgrade composure. Maybe it goes up automatically just by playing through seasons. Hopefully that is the case. So we did that, you know, sprint speed training, which was nice. A bit of a boost for the sprint speed in terms of that yellow bar. But that's about that. So the squad report returns to the player career mode. And of course, um, Lucas in this save is 66 rated. So for those of you guys who didn't watch my FIFA 18 series, we managed to get Lucas Silva up to an 86 overall left back. So that was pretty cool. Anyways, after like simming through a lot of games because the coach didn't want me to get, get you know, a chance. He's finally decided to play me in the next game. So 68 rated Lucas Silva is going to be playing away from home against Derby County. And this is where I have a bit of a problem with the game mode. As Lucas is a left winger, I kind of expected him to play on the left side, but instead he has been made a striker because he's a left forward, which is interesting. I've bumped down the difficulty to professional because, well, world class is it'll be too difficult. I'm not used to FIFA 19 yet because I've just played it for like two days. So keep that in mind why I've gone down to professional. So time to show you guys some my player career mode gameplays now lucas is on the ball it's weird seeing him in the striker position because i've always had him in left back but here he's on the run does pretty well to turn gets the shot off well um <laughs> let's let's not watch that again <laughs> not really the best of attempts from lucas silva as lucas then gets the ball he's dropping really deep and as you can see you know good link up play with his teammates as they're actually making good runs as well lucas decides to play a through ball but well, um, he's 66 rated, so you better excuse him for that because that was a terrible attempt of a through ball. But 46 minutes now in the second half. Let's see if I can show you guys some good gameplay as Lucas now gets the ball, plays in a fabulous pass through, and we do score. And that's what I'm talking about. Your teammates actually know how to play football in FIFA 19. They can actually shoot the ball well and they can actually convert chances, which I feel is massive. On ultimate difficulty, your teammates are probably going to be better than you and score more goals than you. But anyways, that was a solid finish. Can we get Lucas Silva a goal? I want to show you guys potentially scoring with Lucas as well as that he's now on the ball. Still Lucas beats one with the ball draw, gets the speed boost, gets the shots off, big block from the opponent. Still Lucas there with the drag back, gets the shots off, keeper does 
make the save. Scoreline still 1-0 leads. As I don't know why Lucas wasn't in the box, but he controls the ball well. Still Lucas. Skips past one. Goes for the shot. Oh, what an attempt though from Lucas. And that's one of those new shooting animations. Like proper power shots. They look so, so good, man. You would have seen the power he got behind that during the real-time gameplay. That's Lucas now, 79th minute. Let's see what he can do here using the pace. Plays it out wide. Still Lucas gets it back. Gets a plus one on his shot passing. The accomplishments things are back in the game. I'm not really too keen on that, but oh well. As this time the keeper again does make the save. It's dead time for Lucas to potentially get himself a goal on FIFA 19. It'll be a good tribute and a good way to send him off. And now Lucas Silva on the attack, gets the ball back after a quick 1-2, still Lucas gets it on his left foot and bang! Great strike from Lucas and that's his first FIFA 19 goal and that's my first FIFA 19 My Player Career Mode goal as well. And this was on Professional and I've only managed to win 2-0. It shows that EA have raised the level of difficulty at the same time because they've improved the AI, your teammates are a lot smarter which for me is a big feature in Player Career Mode because last year you really had to do everything by yourself to score, to, you know, defend, to assist and all. So I'm glad EA have made that change. Hopefully as a game changer next year or whenever I'll get, you know, op opportunities to, you know, give EA some feedback. And hopefully we can see some new features in player career mode. But I feel like the gameplay hopefully will carry the game mode until then. So that's pretty much it, guys, for today's video. Hopefully you enjoyed getting a first look of FIFA 19 player career mode. Now, hopefully I've answered all your questions regarding where's my FIFA 18 player career mode series. I'm going to be ending that and starting a brand new one come full release of FIFA 19. I'm genuinely hyped for that as Lucas does exchange a handshake with God knows whom. That's going to be the end of the video. Drop a like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.